Hi guys, this video we're of course looking at the McFarlane Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines um, Final Battle box set thing, whatever it is, the end battle I should say, sorry. Um, now for me, fantastic display piece. I love the fact that when it's in box it's pretty much displayed exactly as you see it now. So. I'm going to give myself a slap on the wrist and say, you know, you don't need to really take this out of box because it's basically displayed in box exactly like this. So, um, yeah, don't take it out of the box. <laughs> um, it, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's not that hard to get hold of though. You know, you're not going to, um, you're not going to panic too much if, you know, if you, if you want this, you're going to get it quite easily and you're probably going to pay about, if, if not just a little bit more than just buying the TX Endoskeleton on its own to be honest. It is not too hard to get hold of this set so um, surprisingly you know it's not going to be too much more than just the figure on its own so definitely say get this figure or get this diorama set um, display piece if you're a Terminator fan, you're obviously going to love this this display piece as well. So um, I'm just going to move this out of the way just for a second. Just going to show you the box, just in case. Um, obviously, helps people know what they're looking for. So here we have the box. Uh, obviously, it looks a bit boring without anything in it. Got obviously the same pictures that we've been having on all the the single packets. It says the end battle, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Um, on the side here, I'm just going to move the camera back a bit. Um, it says the deluxe box edition from McFarlane Toys Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines the series features a battle damaged T850 Terminator and a TX endoskeleton recreating a pivotal scene in the film. It includes custom helicopter diorama base. And it says TX has internal blue glow light with simulated crash lighting. And there's a, obviously a picture of the TX there. On the back we have deluxe box set. The end battle recreates the end battle in the film. It includes battle damage T850, TX endoskeleton and custom helicopter diorama with simulated crash lighting and TX has internal blue glow light. Blah. In addition to the 12 inch T850, don't forget standard scale McFarlane toys action figures stunningly detailed to be accurate to the film. The figures are fully articulated and include accessories and bases. Um, so obviously we've got the T850 Terminator with Coffin, TX Terminatrix, TX Endoskeleton, which is the same version as the figure you get in this box set, but it doesn't have the glow, the the, the light up feature. Um, and the T850 Terminator. Now you can see on here we've got a T8, T850 Terminator with glasses and battle damaged, and then we've got the T850 Terminator there. Um, without glasses and undamaged and I've got the glasses undamaged so there's different variants which which really bugs me to be honest. Then we've got the 12 inch figure large scale T850 Terminator action figure features accessories base and film based sound clip with sound again um, but that that's not for me a very good sculpt of Hardy to be honest. Don't know why it just this just doesn't sit right with me. Um, and on this end we've got a picture of Arnie or the T850 and it's this exactly the same right up on the other end of the box. Nothing interesting on the bottom. So date stamp 2008. Is that right? 2008? No 2003. And then on the top. So that's the box people. About as exciting as that gets. And let's bring this back in now. I will be honest with you, I've took the batteries out. Um, just because it's, um, they've, it, well, they've it, been sitting there for a while. I have got some new batteries and I'm just being lazy, I just can't be bothered to put them in. But um, obviously, I just don't want to leave batteries in, in, the, um, in the items in case they corrode and all that. And Here's where you put your batteries in, just in there. This little box comes off, if I remember rightly. Yeah, 
and then this unscrews and you pop your batteries in there I'm kind of feeling I should do it now just for the sake of it but sorry a bit boring here just having you guys sit watching this so <laughs> and there's the button there to make it light up and the base itself is absolutely brilliant in terms of detail um, this there's all you know it all feels a little bit loose and that but you know, the glass from the helicopter there yeah. there are loads absolutely loads of pins on here as well for you to stand the figures on get get absolutely tons of um, different poses and you know there's not the, the, well I say that the T850 so I keep what I say T800 the T850 is, is obviously quite po pre-posed um, no matter where you put him he's always going to have that sort of hunched over cowering away sort of look to him so there's not really too much you can do with him obviously the TX is, is very well articulated and um, of course there's tons you can do with, with her to be honest so um, you know quite why there are so quite why there are so many um, pegs on the diorama base is, is beyond me but you know all in all it's brilliant absolutely brilliant that's a good old bit of weight to it and all you know you, you, you're definitely getting value for your money in in terms of that now the t850 um, there's quite a bit of articulation on here like I say even though you can't really do much with him because because of the um the pose he's in um, the detail that's gone into this is one of the best and I've got to be honest with you if Necker had done a, a mashed up Terminator like this and I'm talking as in flesh hanging off and on the metal you know they, they could really have, you know as, as much as Necker have milked the franchise I'm oh, sorry, milk the franchise, milk the figures. They they should have done a a meaty, a chewed up meaty version of the Terminator, if you ask me, because this is absolutely horrible. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant in the same sentence. Um, but anyway, in terms of articulation going on here, got rotation in the waist, rotation in the head, rotation in the shoulder, just above the elbow, and in the hand. Again, exactly the same on this side. But of course, the bit we all love, we get excited about, is the, the pistons work on there. Um, rotation just below the elbow. The wrist doesn't rotate on this arm. Quite soft fingers on there, so they're not going to break. Um, you have rotation in the thigh and just below the knee. And nothing on this side, to be honest. So this leg you can't do a single thing with. But you got to, you got to admit that's a good, deep, well detailed figure, and like I say, the meaty bits all hanging off it are brilliant. Sculpt and Arnie, not fantastic, but you know, a chipping away at his face with a flesh. So um, you know, that's how you kind of get away with it, to be honest. If you haven't got a good sculpt, just mash a bit more of his face away. <laughs> um, so let's just pop him there. Now the TX endoskeleton, I think this is a brilliant figure to be honest. The articulation going on here is brilliant. Um, but with you moving around, you're going to be popping all these little wires out of things and or hoses, I should say. Uh, so it is a bit annoying in that sense, but I think it's a cool figure. Um, the button, can I remember where it is? Is it one of these? Can't remember where it is now. No, I don't know. Can't figure. Can't can't remember. Was it one of these? Or was it that? Can't, oh, I can't remember anyway. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to sit here boring you while I'm trying to find the button on the back of it. To be honest. Uh, but articulation-wise, we've obviously got hips. You know, just just on the thigh there. Um, you don't want to, like I say, move these too much because you're going to be popping these hoses out and pipes out and things. Bending the knee, a bit of rotation. Don't think there's anything in the ankle now. Um, in the waist, slight bit of movement there. 
to be honest. Nothing to be excited about. Obviously in the head, no up and down to be honest. Just just rotation side to side. Um, obviously got ball joint in the shoulder, pivot in the elbow and rotation in the, in the um, hand. And you've got the, the alternate, oops, um, going on here. I've got, they're obviously just together there. You've got the normal hand and the blade hand, they're just a rubber band. Holding them together on there. Um, that's bugging me now where this little button is, I can't remember. I know it was silly when we found it to be honest. I've got the instruction booklet sitting right beside me and I just can't be bothered to pick it up and am I thinking, hold on a minute, have I got the now thinking have I got the light up on here to be honest. I'm sorry, as boring as it is, I'm just gonna have a quick look at the instruction booklet. Because that'll bug me if I haven't told you. I would sing you a song but I can't sing so that's that. Now push her back. Uh, or was it just a case of holding it down? I can't remember now. We did we did do it, I can remember doing it. Oh, I, I'm not gonna sorry. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry, but that's boring for you. Um, but anyway, that guys is the McFarlane um, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines The End Battle Deluxe Box Set. I personally think this is a really cool box set to be honest. Um, totally recommend it. I think, you know, as much as, as, as bad as the film was, in my opinion, got to be honest with you, we all left number two and nothing will take, take that away from any of us. Um, I think, you know, this is a good, really good box set. I don't know if NECA are going to bring out their own T3 figures. Um, I dare say they'll just probably move on to the new one when that comes out and pile figures out for that. But, um, yeah, totally recommend this box set. I think it's really cool. Um, like I say, it's not that expensive. It's quite easy to get hold of. So, um, yeah, totally recommended by me, as always. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, please comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll catch you guys all again soon. Take care, all the best. Bye-bye.